what is it we should be doing, miss? What should you be doing? No, there's the question. But let me ask you a better one. What is it you want to do? Get pissed. <laughs> I'd quite like some feedback on the poetry assignment, actually. Oh, thank you. It counts towards our final grade, people. This is 12A, right? That is correct, miss. And you are? Jenny. Jenny Joyce. Here we go. The flyer by Jenny Joyce. You're not going to read it out, are you? Of course. Poetry should always be read aloud. Some flowers are tall, some flowers are small. Some flowers barely grow at all. OK. That's not the end. It should be. Here's a poem about a dog. Here's another one about a dog. This one has no name on it. An English rose among thorns. Yeah, I can see why you might want to remain anonymous, all right. Dog poem, poem about a tree. This one's called Boys. I think boys are really class, especially the ones who have a nice ass. It's called haiku. That's not what I would call it. Dog poem, dog poem. I oh, hear someone's just drawn a picture of a dog. That is not bad, actually. Thank you very much. This person has written about how much they love their English class in an embarrassing attempt to suck up to the teacher. Dog poem, dog poem, cat poem. Yes. I think a lot of people in this class, and I don't know what might be saying this, well, they have a very basic grasp of the creative process. Whereas I've been writing for years, so I'm really not afraid to put myself out there. To be bold. To take risks. And you are? That's my cousin. Erin Quinn. Erin Quinn. Here we go. The bullets fired on the streets as I lie in my bed are nothing to the bullets being fired in my head. It's about the troubles, in a political sense, but also about my own troubles in a personal sense. No, I understand the weak analogy. This isn't bold, Erin. It's someone failing to be bold. I'm sorry if the subtleties of my work were lost on you, Mr. Brin. It was difficult, so you've just given up. You might fail, so why bother trying? Exactly. Told you she'd understand. <gasps> Have you ever stopped to look at these? These faces from the past. They're not so different from you, really. They had dreams like you do. They had ambitions, but now they're gone. Dead. Dust. That's my Auntie Anne, third from the left. She's not dead. But she's only 54. She runs the mobile library in Ballymagorty. Quiet. But did they fulfill those dreams, those ambitions? One day, girls, you too will just be an old photograph in a hallway. You only get one life. Don't be afraid to live it. Find your voice. Make your mark. She's an inspiration. Absolutely. She really knows how to grab things by the balls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's changed my life. She really has. She likes my accent. I day for her. I think I would too, you know. Me too. I fuck it, why not? Yeah. I mean, obviously I totally agree, I'd die for her as well, but I'm also conscious of the fact we've only known her like two days. And? Well, this is a bit weird. She's invited us around to her house at night. What do you mean? Well, she's a teacher. She's much more than a teacher. Yeah, no, obviously I get that she's great, but it's just that I have a feeling I might be sort of frowned upon. God, Claire, you're so conditioned. What's that supposed to mean? It means you need to loosen the fuck up. I am loose, thank you very much. Basically, Claire. You're a crack killer? Not a crack killer. I am not a crack killer! Some wine. Oh, no, actually, I don't. Cheers. <laughs> Hit me again. OK. You don't have much stuff. Everything I own can fit into a suitcase. I've never understood why people weigh themselves down with meaningless crap. You know? Yeah, God, I just hate possessions so much. Does that mean I can have your Sylvanian family collection? Shut up, Arla. I don't like to feel tied down, you know? Life should be spontaneous. Free. Big time. Sláinte. This is actually nice. Mm. Tastes a bit like blood. Life is no brief candle to me. 
It is a sort of splendid torch which I've got hold of for the moment. And I want to make it burn as brightly as possible. That's beautiful. Sure. It's my favorite quote. Take it easy, Oliver Reed. What's yours? Be careful, child, of the doll made of glass. For if you hold her too tightly, she will break and you will bleed. I don't think I'm familiar with that one. Who's it by? Me, it's by me. Wow. <laughs>